everybody, this is Ron from the Little Wombat Gallery, and we're now interviewing with Saskia. This is our first interview, so forgive the faux pas or whatever. But um, we're just going to let you know a little bit about the gallery and hoping that you can get to know us a bit. But we're just going to wait for the while for people to come on live, and um, so we'll say hi, oh, Saskia, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good, good. Yeah. You're excited about Friday? Um, yes, I am. It's my first solo <laughs> exhibition, so it's, it's a really good opportunity. So, um, Little Wombat Gallery has grown up out of those roots, um, and now we are actually um, looking after five other artists in the gallery, including Saskia. And Saskia was actually quite, um, she had quite a role in the continuing mm -hmm. with the Little Wombat Gallery. Because I remember it was years. Yeah, it was years ago actually, yeah. about three four years ago. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you came with the friends yeah. and I was at a crossroads with the gallery thinking, do I go on, do yeah. I not go on? Kind of waiting for a guidance about it. Anyway, Saskia and her friends came. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know each other at all. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And um, you bought a few pieces, mm -hmm. and your friend, I remember saying, Dot mm -hmm. said to me, mm -hmm. You've got to sit on, you've got to do it. And yeah. that hadn't yeah. even been part of the conversation. Yeah. And then, so, Sophia mm -hmm. and I left, she bought her gear. Mm -hmm. And then, about two years ago, yeah. 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 Um, mm -hmm. I was, I'm part of the Renowned Dance Network, and so is uh, here. Yeah. And we met, and I didn't have no idea that Poppy was also an artist. And so she became one of our artists in the gallery. I asked her if she would like to display her work, her beautiful work. And she became one of our artists. Yeah. And since then, we now have, as I said, five other artists. And this is our first dedicated exhibition. And I'm so happy that Tonka is the person who is helping us to um, launch the Wombat Gallery uh, properly with some wonderful art. So I've just got a few questions. And if anybody wants to ask questions, please just pop them in the side there and give us reactions or or give us a question. We'd love to love to hear from you. Okay, so. Can you tell us a little bit about your early life? Your, you know, where you're from originally and how your art developed? Mm -hmm. right. So I I would come originally from the institution of Slovakia. So I grew up in Bratislava, which is now the capital of Slovakia. And I came to Australia when I was 20 years old. I started to study English at the university and I just wanted to sort of Expand my knowledge, and, and I was young and very impatient, and I just wanted to travel and learn everything as quickly as I possibly could. Mm -hmm. So um, I came to Australia, and um, I wasn't um, involved in creative arts at the time, apart from being in a theatre, which is my other love. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it was sort of all the time as an enthusiastic um, gallery goer, and and um, Somebody who always loved looking at art. Mm -hmm. I think by the end of the they saw um, that's any treatment to me making art myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you jumped into your child? Yes, yes. I yeah. did as a child. Uh, I was very fond of drawing. Mm -hmm. um, and I used to get up every morning very early and I used to get my desk and draw mm -hmm. images. And even then, already my work was figurative, surprisingly mm -hmm. enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because most of your work is figurative, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 And do you, if your style is kind of abstract impression, you can not It is. Like that or sort of contemporary? Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether I can sort of put it into a particular category mm -hmm. or definition. Mm -hmm. um, for me, there are a number of elements that seem to, um, uh, seem to fascinate me, inspire mm -hmm. me, and, and drive my artistic curiosity. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's quite, um, it's also the, perhaps capturing uh, something poetic um, mm -hmm. that, that is another element. And I particularly am fascinated by 
the human nature mm. and the dichotomy of, of who we are mm. and, and uh, the parts of us that perhaps remain constant and, and then these other layers that evolve and change over time. Mm. And I I somehow try to, as I said, in sort of a bit of a poetic way, mm. capture mm. that in my drawings and collages. Mm. Um, and um, mosaic or relief culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So, how has your art kind of developed and progressed? Oh, we'll just say a quick hello to some people that are watching. We've got Hi, Lindy, Ben, Jess, and Richard. Mm -hmm. How are you going? Lovely to, lovely to see you on board. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. um, so, you, you were, so I, I basically, um, um, after sort of a, I, as I said, I, I, I always, I always go to galleries, I always look it out, I'm mm. always drawn to them. But this was about five or six years ago when I really felt like I needed to get some creative answers. Mm. And, and it was a friend of mine who, um, helped me to do a, basically a garden mosaic. Mm. And, and I didn't really have an experience in that sort of help. And probably within half an hour of us, Working on this, mm -hmm. I knew that I had to pursue mm -hmm. um, creative art. It scratched that. It just, I, mm -hmm. I just, it, 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 it was like it's a penny drop, mm -hmm. and I knew that this was me. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, so, mm -hmm. so it was a wonderful feeling, and and um, I've since then I've, I've never stopped. And and two years or one and a half years ago, I, I started to study um, a master of art. But, as well as mm -hmm. um, at, uh, in Sydney, and um, it's been a wonderful sort of learning curve, and and my knowledge, and also my boundaries have expanded so much. Mm -hmm. so, so because she's been doing studies as well, yes, haven't yeah, she? Yeah, so yeah. This, this has really impacted on 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 my artistic journey, mm -hmm. and um, and I've also met wonderful sort of teachers and and. Um, classmates and friends and, mm -hmm. and we have a great sort of network and we feed of each other and, mm -hmm. and it's been a, a really exciting journey mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what's really important and for the for our watchers at the moment too is that I know that I know a couple of the people who are watching mm -hmm. that in the arts and it's really important that you mm -hmm. do surround yourself with people that yeah. will Help foster your, your abilities and talents, and I think you've been very blessed with that. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, so, I, I consider myself very really fortunate that I have had this opportunity to do that, mm. and and I really hope that um, I will always somehow be involved in, in various networks and mm. and and, um, and be able to um, create. With mm. other people together. Mm. Yeah. So, as far as your mentors or mm. people that have actually, you know, had a big impact on your art, who to start with, I think when I was a child, my grandmother really loved painting. Mm. And mm. Because I think she had about 50 paintings just in her living room. So, I used to sit on the sofa and constantly look at all these wonderful paintings mm. and, and let my imagination run wild. Mm. <laughs> mm. And, and, and I think that really inspired me, and then there were always lots of art books and her plays and mm -hmm. um, So, what do you say about art books? I, I was fascinated by Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, yeah. Um, he was my favorite artist, and mm -hmm. I think because he, he sort of worked across different mediums, mm -hmm. and there was this other aspect to him as well, mm -hmm. and uh, sort of, um, he was interested in the anatomy of the mm -hmm. human body. Mm -hmm. and, and he was sort of a bit of a um, 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 scientist himself. Um, mm. So I was really fascinated by his drawings in mm. Do you think that's reflected in your art? Um, it is possible now that um, over the last few months I've, I've sort of gone into drawing. Mm. And, and I think there's definitely some kind of influence coming through. Mm. Um, so, um, and particularly in the figurative um, sort of work. Mm. Yes, mm. yes, I, I think so. Mm. Yeah. And any other artists? Um, look, there, uh, there, there are so many. Um, mm. For a while, I was really inspired, like probably many of us, by impressionists. Goya, um, I find his work, even though it's sort of the darker and and, and ponders a lot about the sort of darker side of human um, personality and, and human character. 
So mm -hmm. I think it's very evocative and, and very powerful. Mm -hmm. And again, it's with etchings that I find particularly um, impressive. Mm -hmm. So, and there are also a number of contemporary artists that want to join me in one way or another. And you go to a lot of local galleries as yes, well, well right. yes, so, yes, so yes, and you? Yeah, and and in Sydney. Yeah, well, in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and, and my university is located in um, Oxford Street, so quite often with my classmates, we visit the, the uh, galleries at the mm -hmm. UW and also the galleries at the but mm -hmm. yeah, what what are your hopes for your art? Like where do you hope that um, things will progress to? Well, uh, I would be incredibly happy if I could if, if art could be my living mm -hmm. way of um, life and, and be able to basically live from art. Mm -hmm. so I guess any art is probably a lot of us that. Yeah. Um, I find this sort of work incredibly fulfilling. Um, mm -hmm. My life's been really enriched for art, mm -hmm. and and I've met uh, amazing people who inspire me every day and um, um, and help me to grow as a uh, not only as an artist but as, as a human being and as mm -hmm. a friend and um, as a citizen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and so so yes, I, I would love to. Mm -hmm. um, doing what I'm doing, and and it's also a great way for me to learn, constantly mm -hmm. learn and push my boundaries and mm -hmm. in um, within my own creativity. Yeah, and you talked we talked mm -hmm. about this earlier mm -hmm. too about how we feel that our art enriches our lives, yes. and okay. our hope is for it to enrich other people's lives yes. as well. Yes. So yes. yeah, it's yes. it's um it's something that that. We hope will speak to people that yeah, come to the gallery yeah. that, that they will enjoy such good art. And there are other, a couple of other pieces around there, but um, we really hope that um, such good exhibition will speak to people and that they will really enjoy it. And I know you will because the work is exceptional. And um, just Give us a little feel about what's going to be shown. Uh, so uh, it is quite an eclectic collection of works uh, mm -hmm. which I have um, created over the last couple of years, basically. So and they're called and it's called uh, the Trek mm -hmm. Um and um, it's basically there's a there's an underlying connection as I was mentioned earlier. Um, I'm I'm very interested in the dichotomy of the human character and. Um, I always look at um, ways of expressing um, various sort of um, either fleeting moments or feelings or um, connections um, mm -hmm. um, with our human beings. Um, and I'm particularly interested in also uh, visually expressing it in various ways of uh, layered images. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this particular exhibition will include um, mosaic, really, sculpture. Um, there, there will be a couple of three-dimensional sculptures, um, um, painting, drawing, and collage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and particularly, pretty much everything is actually mm -hmm. figurative. Yeah, yeah. I don't seem to be away, able to get away from. But the, I think people relate to that. Yeah, the human head in yeah. particular. <laughs> Scientist, I, I think I've studied the human brain, so mm -hmm. I think this is somehow filtering into my mind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. painting and drawing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, we might just start winding it up. Any we just might. Um, we've got a few questions here. Has anybody got any questions? There's one here from um, my husband saying, "What's the dinner?" Lovely. <laughs> I think uh, you can get your own. <laughs> Uh, there's another question here. Um, Saskia, have you got any plans for any more exhibitions? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, my classmates and I, we've been talking about some good exhibitions. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and we've been sort of fairly, at, at this stage, very loosely brainstorming around uh, what sort of thing we could put together so we could somehow bring all, all our practice mm -hmm. and, and, and current sort of 
works together. So mm -hmm. something might be happening possibly in Paddington. Yeah, fantastic. So when will that be? Uh, hopefully this year. Yes. Okay, and there's a couple of other comments from Alison Kim. Hi Kim. Yeah. Um, <laughs> work on jumping here. And I think people will want to do And as so I love you. you. Because oh. um, Saskia is one of the warmest mm. people that I've, I've known. Oh. Very creative, very warm, very approachable. Now, um, we've got the opening on Friday night. It is, it is um, shaping up to be quite a great event. We're um, expecting quite a few people. But there are a few little spots uh, available at the moment. So you'll have to RSVP if you want to come. But just uh, contact me at the Little Wombat Gallery. We'd love to, you know, squeeze as many people in as we can to have a look at such beautiful work, and so you can meet her, and um, we'll have the official opening probably around seven, but it's between six and nine on Friday night. Anyway, we've really enjoyed this time together, and I hope you've enjoyed this next stuff here. And we'd like you to follow us on Facebook and also Instagram as well. And um, any questions, just shoot them to us, and we'll, we'll be happy to talk to you. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you, and we'll see you hopefully very soon. The, uh, the exhibition is on between the 25th of May mm -hmm. and the 7th of June, 10 to 4 every day. Trust you will be here as well for a lot of those days. And um, just check with me, and we can, you can come and have a chat, and she'll talk to you about the right work. So see you then. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.